So what's the difference between antenatal and postnatal screening? Well, essentially, antenatal screening offers both mother and baby testing, whilst postnatal screening will be for the baby only. What does postnatal screening programmes involve? Again, these are screening tests to establish if the baby may be affected by adverse health conditions. Among the first of these are the newborn infant physical examination, which is performed before the baby is 72 hours old. There is also a newborn hearing screen and is also offered soon after the baby is born. The newborn blood spot is usually taken on day five. This screens for nine health conditions and involves a heel prick blood test and will be taken with your consent. It's essential to know that screening is about looking for health conditions which can be improved by early management to enable a better outcome than if this condition is not known about. All are performed with informed consent and you are able to decline if that is your choice. You should be fully aware of the implications of both having and not having the screening tests. So where do you go and who do you contact in order to arrange these tests? Your GP and or your midwife will arrange these for you according to your informed consent being obtained. The newborn blood spot, which is normally taken on day five, will screen for nine conditions. The majority of these are metabolic conditions and that's the reason that we do it at day five, so that the baby has an opportunity to have five days of milk feeds, building up any proteins that the baby may not be able to break down. The test will then ascertain if this is the case and whether treatment may be required. We'll also be screening for conditions such as sickle cell disease. Again, this is an inherited condition and you may not be aware that you're affected. The newborn blood spot will also screen for cystic fibrosis and for genital hypothyroidism. All of these conditions can be managed or treated, but clearly we need to know about them first, which is why screening is important.